everyone, it's Louise with Louise Make Hair, and I welcome you here. And uh, I cannot believe it's already a few days into the new year, and we just uh, time keeps on marching. And because time is marching, I uh, have been a little nervous about doing this particular pour because I've never. This is again another new one for me. What I have here is the top of a uh, Lazy Susan. Now this is, um, how big is this? It's about 14 inches in diameter. And uh, I'm not gonna lift this up, but the bottom I have primed and also taped off. This one's taped off, this one I don't have it taped yet. And the reason why I had to tape it or prime it is because the, the wood, I could not get the tape to adhere to it so that when I do pour on it, in resin on it, the um, the tape will stick so I can keep it clean underneath. So I had to prime it first, the bottom. I was planning on priming the top anyway, but that was something I had to figure out for this. So yeah, I'm doing a Lazy Susan and uh, I'm nervous because I've never done it before. I'm gonna be using this large palette knife, which I've never used. It's only dirty because of other paints getting on it haven't used it yet. So I had to put on my big girl pants today and convince myself the same thing I always say to everybody, what's the worst that can happen, right? So I lose a little paint, but I do learn a lot. So yeah, here we are. And uh, what I've got for colors is uh, Golden's Pain, Payne's Gray. And then I have this blue, this navy blue, or, uh, yeah, navy blue that I used in a couple pours that I was um, putting together for KS Resin Competition. This is my um, Golden Pearl with mostly Chantilly Lace from Prison Pour. This is Iridescent Gold, Golden, Nicolazzo Gold, and then this is the brown that I made for that KS Resin Competition. Got my American Floetrol white and black. I'll be loading up the palette knife. The plan is to lay these colors down, do a simple swipe, playing and spinning and see what we get. And like I say, the worst that can happen doesn't work out and I got to redo it. So I will uh, get you down in a second and wish me luck. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, that's the end. <laughs> There's no turning back now. So I'm going to make it fairly simple, at least that's the plan, and let the paint stretch and do its job. So I just cut out a couple minutes of just stretching the paint out. So this is the paint screen. I'm just going to go straight and then I'm going to swipe like I've been doing. And I'm not going to go all the way to the edges. Let's let go from here to there. And I got to be careful with how much paint I put down because I got to make sure I get enough. All right, everyone. So I'm going to pick up the pace here. You can see me laying down the colors. I'm laying them down in the exact order that I called them out in the uh, intro. And it's just going to be a very simple swipe. And you'll see how this evolves. So I know the Payne's Gray is very similar in color to this uh, navy blue that I created, but I wanted to see how these two colors would work together. And for anyone new watching, I do have a video about how I create my pouring medium and what the consistency should look like between the pillow paint and the paints. That's video 140, and my cell activator, American Floetrol cell activator recipe, is video 141. And I also talk about how the consistencies of the pillow 
and the paint and the cell activator all have to play together and all should be different in those two videos. So here I'm adding the cell activator literally for the first time. This is the maiden voyage of this um, palette knife. <laughs> and like I said before, it's got paint on it, but only because it lived vicariously getting knocked around with paint from the other palette knives as it sat in the shelf waiting to be called up to bat. So here we go. It's being called out to bat now. All right, I'm procrastinating now. Let's go. So here I'm just pointing out how the beginning of the swipe, it always gets bigger cells at the top in the beginning than as you spread it out toward the bottom. And I kind of wish that there was a way of getting that throughout the whole swipe. You know, maybe the swipe's too big. I don't have enough cell activator to get through the whole swipe. I just wondered if I put some cell activator in the colors for the second half of the swipe, if that might help. I don't know, a lot of thoughts going through my head on this. So I spend a good portion of time as I'm scooping and dragging here, trying to cover up that little tail that I created as I finished up the swipe and scooped up to the top. Wished I hadn't done that because I didn't like the way it turned out. And I spend a lot of the time here just trying to cover it up and it never does quite fully go away. But you know, those are the choices that are made. I won't make that choice again because I don't like that particular style, but it somebody might like it. So it just depends on what you're looking for. So here I'm just adding some more flow paint and honestly speaking, I really didn't need to add any because in the end I had a ton. So be careful with how much you add because it's gonna stretch out anyway. And in watching this back, and I wish I'd realized while I was doing it, I started to lose the top, which is where the good cells were. What I should have done is tilted it down more to stretch those nice juicy cells down more toward the you know top third so that when I spun it out, it would have a place to stretch instead of just rolling off the edge.
And again, in watching this back, I just look at those nice big cells at the top and just wish that they were more centrally to the piece and had some of those smaller, tiny things that are at the bottom of it fall off the edge. And I would recommend to anybody, you should video yourself, even if you're not going to post it anywhere, just so you can watch yourself back and you can see what's happening from a different point of view than as the person making something. Because I'm looking at this like I'm watching TV and I can see things more clearly because I'm not trying to manipulate it in the moment. So just a suggestion, video yourself and you'll see something different than what you do as you're making it. So this is the point where I'm calling it a wrap and I try to show you, but it's too close. So I will do a flyover and I just want to say thank you for watching. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe, hit the bell and get all my latest videos and leave comments and a thumbs up if you liked it. All right. Thanks a lot. Take care.